In today's video, I am gonna show you how to make a DIY tabletop fountain. If you want a water feature in your outdoor space, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money, stick around, you're gonna to wanna to see this video. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. This is Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring videos. From crafts to home decor, kids projects and simple recipes, you can find new videos right here every week. If that sounds like something you wanna see, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. So today I am showing you how to make a tabletop fountain. I have wanted a water feature on my deck for a really long time, but I never really found a piece that I loved that was in my budget. So I set out to make my own. I headed to Walmart and picked up a variety of pieces, kind of an eclectic mix of pieces. And I am gonna show you how to use these inexpensive items to build your own fountain. This video is part of the DIY Mommies Outdoor DIY and Decor Challenge. That means that there is a full playlist down in the description of really inspiring outdoor DIY projects. So if you like this video, chances are you're gonna love that playlist. So go check it out. And while you're there, be sure to check out the DIY Mommy's channel. She has some amazing, inspiring videos. So let's jump right in. I am gonna show you everything you need to make this fountain, including the pump that I found works best for a small tabletop water feature. All the supplies that I mention in this video, I'm gonna list down below and then link them there as well so you can go out and get them. All right, so here's what we're gonna start with for this tabletop fountain. I grabbed a clear plastic tray and then a couple different kinds of gravel and decorative rocks. You can find these in the aquarium section of your local store. I also grabbed a clay pot and saucer and I'm gonna show you in just a minute how to get those grooves and a widened hole in these clay pots. This is gonna be really important for your fountain. Next, you're gonna grab a couple pieces that the water can cascade down. So in this case, I want the water to go from the clay pot down to this beautiful red and blue dish and to this smaller dish as well. These are Pioneer Woman dishes from Walmart. Once I have everything set in place, I'm gonna use a little silicone to keep them in place. And this is waterproof silicone that's gonna work great for this project. Now this is the fountain. It is a small scale fountain that has suction cups on the bottom to stick to the tray, a nice long cord, and a variety of spouts to go with it that's gonna get us a really nice water flow. You're also gonna need some tubing, and I've linked all of this down below so you can get the exact products. Grab a scissors and we'll get started with this. Now for these clay pots, you wanna soak them in water for a good 20 minutes and then we're gonna be able to manipulate them a lot easier. So I'm gonna start with the pot, which already has a hole in the bottom, and I'm gonna take a file and just file down some grooves along the outside. This is going to allow the water to flow in and out and also give us a place for the cord of the pump to go out the back of the pot. In the saucer, I've drilled a hole in the middle, and this is actually really easy to do once your clay pot is wet. Now I'm gonna use the file to create a spout in the side so I can kind of channel that water down and out exactly where I want it. All right, now we're gonna put it together. In a section of my tubing, I've added one of the nozzles that comes with this pump. It actually comes with two nozzles. This larger one is gonna work better for our project. Then I'm gonna stick the tube into the pump and this pump has these suction cups on the bottom. So I am just gonna stick that to my plastic tray. It's really nice, it's gonna stay put exactly where I want it. Now there's a little dial on this pump, so you could, this actually has some power to it. You can have it go really strong or um, just a little trickle. So play around with it, see what you like. For the size of the fountain that I'm building here, I want it on its lowest setting. Now I'm gonna line everything up and I've got my pot here and my saucer and I'm just gonna cut off the tubing where I need it. Now that it's cut off, I am going to 
feed the pump and the tube up through the hole in the bottom of the pot and it should be a nice tight fit there. I'm going to feed the cord out the back through one of the notches and I'm going to shimmy on that saucer onto the top here. Now in this situation I can use a little silicone to waterproof that if there is some gaps. Now it's time to line up the bowls. I'm going to grab a few rocks for my middle bowl and get that in there and the smaller bowl down on the bottom here and really make sure that uh, the water is going to flow between the three. I'm going to use a little silicone to set this in place. Once everything's dry, we're going to put in some water before adding any decoration to make sure that the pump works and this is exactly the way we want it. How beautiful does that look? Now it is time to start decorating. So I'm going to start with some gravel, and this gravel is a really good base, but be sure not to put it too close to the pot because you want there to be free water flow for the pump. Once the gravel's down, I'm going to add some decorative aquarium rocks. And then to make it a fairy garden fountain, we're going to add a few little decorative fairy garden pieces. We've got a tree, a little bridge, some flowers and light posts. This is really whatever you want to make it. It can be a beautiful fountain. This fountain will eventually sit on my deck outside so I can listen to that beautiful trickle of water. But right now my deck is being stripped and stained, so we have to wait till that project is complete before moving this outside. So right now this is going to sit uh, right inside uh, so I can still enjoy it before we move it to its final home. If you liked this video, be sure to check out the rest of the DIY Mommy's Challenge playlist for all kinds of outdoor DIY and decor videos. Thank you for watching, and if you are not already subscribed to Creative Ramblings, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. 